We have all heard this popular saying that says an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But how true is this? Is this really for everyone or just a group of people? Also, what kind of apple is better for your health? Let's find out together in this video. If you are new to my channel please like and subscribe. My videos are aimed at spreading health awareness and to promote health all over the world. So if you want to be updated on every video I make please subscribe to the channel. While making apples a part of your diet has its benefits it also has its negative effects for certain health groups. But before we go deeper into that, let's talk about the overall health benefits of apples. Certainly, apples are not only delicious but also offer a variety of health benefits. Here are 10 important benefits of including apples in your diet. 1. Rich in nutrients. Apples are a good source of several vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, potassium, and vitamin K. They also provide some B vitamins. For those that don't know, vitamin helps with wound healing and boosting immunity. Potassium is needed for your nerves and heart and vitamin K is important for blood clotting. 2. High in fiber. Apples are particularly high in soluble fiber, known as pectin. This type of fiber offers various health benefits, such as improving digestion and lowering blood cholesterol levels and this indirectly protects your heart because high cholesterol is dangerous for your heart and blood vessel health. 3. Weight Loss Aid. Due to their high fiber content and low calorie density, apples can help you feel full, making them a smart choice for those looking to manage their weight. So if you are planning to lose weight add apples to your gym diet. 4. Heart Health. Eating apples is linked to a lower risk of heart disease. This may be due to their high fiber content and the presence of polyphenols, which are linked to lower blood pressure and stroke risk. 5. Lower risk of diabetes. Studies have shown that apples can reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. This might be due to their polyphenol antioxidant content, which helps protect pancreatic cells that produce insulin. When you have a healthy pancreas you have low chance of developing diabetes. 6. Cancer Prevention. Research suggests that the antioxidants and fiber in apples might reduce the risk of developing various types of cancer, including breast and colon cancer. 7. Gut Health. The fiber in apples feeds good bacteria in the gut, which is crucial for a healthy digestive system. This also helps in maintaining overall health and immunity. 8. Brain Health. Some studies suggest that apples may help protect the brain. Compounds in apples may reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. 9. Bone Health. The antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds in apples may help promote bone health. Consuming fruit, including apples, has been linked to higher bone density. 10. Prevention of asthma and lung function. Apples contain antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds that may help regulate immune responses and protect against asthma. They also promote overall lung health. Remember, while apples are highly nutritious and offer these health benefits, a balanced diet incorporating a variety of fruits and vegetables is essential for overall health. Well, I know these benefits are enough to make us start incorporating apples and other related fruits to our diet. What if you are sick, can apples contribute to the reduction and management of certain diseases? Of course it can. Now let's look at certain diseases that can be managed by adding apples to our diet. Eating apples can contribute to the reduction or management of various diseases, primarily due to their nutritional content, including fiber, antioxidants, and phytochemicals. Here are 10 diseases where apples can play a beneficial role. 1. Heart disease. The high fiber content in apples can help lower cholesterol levels, reducing the risk of heart disease. Additionally, the antioxidants in apples may help prevent heart disease by lowering blood pressure and reducing the risk of stroke. 2. Type 2 Diabetes. Apples, particularly due to their polyphenol content, can help regulate blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. I don't know for you guys but whenever I eat lots of apples I feel weak and hungry. These are symptoms of hypoglycemia, meaning apples help reduce your blood sugar level. So only eat it moderately. 3. Cancer. Certain studies suggest that the antioxidants and fiber in apples might help reduce the risk of developing various types of cancer, such as breast, colon, and lung cancers. 4. Obesity. High fiber fruits like apples can aid in weight loss and management, which is crucial in preventing and managing obesity. Also don't forget to hit the gym. 5. Asthma. The antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of apples can contribute to lung health and may help protect against asthma and improve pulmonary function. 6. Gastrointestinal disorders. 
The fiber in apples helps promote healthy digestion and can prevent constipation and other gastrointestinal disorders. 7. Gallstones. Eating foods high in fiber, like apples, can help prevent gallstone formation, especially in those prone to this condition due to high cholesterol levels. 8. Neurodegenerative diseases. Compounds in apples may have a neuroprotective effect, potentially reducing the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So if anyone in your family has any of these diseases, apples might actually reduce the chance of you having them. 9. Stroke. The fiber and antioxidants present in apples have been linked to a reduced risk of stroke. 10. Dental problems. Chewing apples can stimulate saliva production, which helps reduce tooth decay by lowering bacteria levels in the mouth. It's important to note that while eating apples can contribute to the prevention or management of these conditions, they should not replace medical treatment. A balanced diet and appropriate medical care are essential for disease prevention and treatment. Back to what I said at the intro, eating an apple a day keeps the doctor away, does this statement actually apply to everyone? No it does not. If you have any of these diseases, you should run from apples. Apples are generally considered safe and healthy for most people, but there are certain conditions where they might need to be consumed with caution or avoided. Here are 10 of them. 1. Fructose malabsorption or intolerance. Apples contain fructose, a natural sugar that some people have difficulty absorbing. This can lead to abdominal pain, bloating, and diarrhea in sensitive individuals. 2. Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS. For those with IBS, especially those following a low FODMAP diet, apples, which are high in FODMAPs, can trigger symptoms like bloating, gas, and abdominal pain. By the FODMAP means fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides and polyols. 3. Allergies to birch pollen. Oral allergy syndrome. Some individuals with a birch pollen allergy may react to apples due to cross-reactivity, experiencing itching or swelling in the mouth and throat. 4. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. The acidity in apples can aggravate symptoms of GERD or acid reflux in some people, leading to heartburn or discomfort. 5. Tooth decay. While apples can promote dental health, their acidic nature, when consumed in excess, can erode tooth enamel. This is particularly a concern for those already prone to cavities or dental erosion. 6. Diarrhea. The high fiber content in apples, particularly when consumed in large quantities, can cause or exacerbate diarrhea in some individuals. 7. Certain medications. People taking certain medications, like satins, might need to monitor their apple intake. The high fiber content can interfere with the absorption of these drugs. 8. Barrett's esophagus. Due to the acidic nature of apples, individuals with Barrett's esophagus might experience discomfort or aggravation of their condition. 9. Certain types of surgery. Post-operative patients, especially those who have had gastrointestinal surgery, might need to avoid apples initially due to their fiber content, as it can be hard to digest. 10. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO. People with SIBO may need to limit apples due to their fructose and fiber content, which can ferment in the gut and worsen symptoms. It's important to remember that individual responses to foods can vary greatly. These conditions don't automatically require the avoidance of apples for every individual affected by them. Consulting with a healthcare provider or a dietitian is recommended for personalized dietary advice. We have seen how good apples can be for our health and also how bad it can be for certain health groups. Now, there are many kinds of apples, there are red, green, yellow, stripped, and even black apples. But the most common is the red and green apples. So we are going to be doing comparative analysis between these two apples to see which is better health-wise. We will be starting with nutritional differences. 1. Macronutrients. Green apples have slightly less carbohydrate and sugar content than red apples. This is important for those with diabetes type 2 and those at risk of developing. Green apples offer 63% more protein than red apples. Proteins are building blocks of our body so keep that in mind. 2. Vitamins and minerals. Green apples provide more iron, niacin, potassium, thiamine, vitamin A, vitamin B6, and vitamin K compared to red apples. Red apples, however, may have a slightly higher content of vitamin E. 3. Fiber. Both apples are good fiber sources, but green apples may contain slightly more. 4. Antioxidants. Red apples tend to have more antioxidants than green, 
particularly polyphenols found in dark red fruits. We talked about the benefits of antioxidants and polyphenols earlier so if your goal is to reduce cancer and inflammation, you know your choice. Health Benefits 1. General Health Both apple types are beneficial for heart health, digestion, cholesterol levels, weight control, liver detoxification, and respiratory benefits. Apples are a rich source of phytochemicals, offering various antioxidants beneficial for cellular health. 2. Specific Benefits Green apples might be better for reducing sugar intake due to their lower sugar content, beneficial for people trying to manage their sugar levels. Red apples offer anti-inflammatory benefits and may be better for cognitive function and reducing the risk of Alzheimer's disease. 3. Weight loss. Both varieties can aid in weight loss, but green apples might have a slight edge due to their higher fiber content and lower calorie density. Overall comparison. Taste. Green apples are more tart, while red apples are generally sweeter. Sugar content. Green apples have less sugar. Fiber content. Green apples might offer slightly more fiber. Antioxidants. Red apples have more antioxidants, especially those linked to anti-inflammatory properties. Conclusion. Health impact. Both red and green apples are healthy options, offering a range of benefits from heart health to cancer prevention. The differences in nutritional value are relatively small, so choosing between them may depend more on personal taste preferences and specific health goals, e.g., lower sugar intake, higher fiber, antioxidant content. Recommendation. Enjoy the apple type you prefer, as both contribute positively to a balanced diet. If specific health goals are in mind, such as reducing sugar intake or increasing antioxidant consumption, this might guide your choice. In summary, while there are some nutritional differences between green and red apples, both are helpful choices. The choice between them can be based on personal taste preferences and specific dietary goals. That brings us to the end of our video today. I hope this video helps you in choosing the type of apple that is good for your health. Lastly, I wish you all a beautiful and healthy life. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment what type of apple is your best and reason. Bye for now.